and welcome to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce, where we connect with Troy Chamber members as they give us a glimpse into their company and share some of the business lessons they've learned along the way. Hi, everyone. I am Tara Thompson-Husek, President and CEO of the Troy Chamber of Commerce, and I am joined today by the lovely co-host and Vice President of the Chamber, Sheila Denstead. Hello, everyone. <laughs> First and foremost, I would like to take a minute to thank our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Stay tuned for the first commercial break where you can learn how you can rely on Tryon. We've got a great show lined up today. So Sheila, why don't you introduce our very first guest? I would love to. Today we're meeting with Justin Wiedis. Justin is a social entrepreneur and a digital storyteller, and I can't wait to learn more about that. <laughs> He's the CEO of Flow Video, a video marketing company based in Metro Detroit with satellite offices in New York and New Jersey. He formally was in our building. We miss him and his <laughs> team very guys. much. Previously, he co-founded the Liberati Group, a creative media agency that built highly effective branding and crowdfunding campaigns for nonprofits, cause-based organizations, and small businesses. In his fleeting spare time, Justin <laughs> enjoys biking, running, chess, and playing his 77 Fender Rhodes stage piano to his heart's delight. <laughs> Justin, welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Sheila. It's good to be here. And Tara. Thank you. So, Justin, you know, obviously we just learned a little bit about you. Also, I know you, so I already know that you're fun. But why <laughs> don't you tell us a little bit about Flow Video? Yeah. Well, as Sheila so perfectly put it, Flow Video <laughs> is a creative video agency. We specialize in short-form video content, be it commercials, advertisements, fundraising videos, about us videos, mission videos for organizations with a cause, with a, a mission, with a story to tell. So why do you go from like, so obviously there's a short form and a long form. What is the difference and what is the time span on that? Well, that's the million dollar question everybody <laughs> asks us. Is <laughs> the how attention long, span of people. Right. Okay. How long should my video be? And there's not a single answer to that. We like to make videos that are generally shorter. So anywhere from 10, 15 seconds, something you might see on the beginning of a YouTube video, that little thing that you... Can't wait to hit skip ad, <laughs> except with ours. Also, that little right corner. That, yeah, yeah. with ours, you don't want to hit it. <laughs> you don't want to hit the skip ad video with our videos. They're that good. Of course not. Uh, all the way up to, you know, 10, 15 minutes long. Those are usually the longest videos that we produce. They're short videos. They tell a story concisely and impactfully. Perfect. Well, you know what? Uh, when we talk to our members, they're always trying to figure out ways to showcase their brand, their businesses, their brand story. What is a brand story and why should a company have one? Yeah, it's a great question. Why, thank you. We all remember <laughs> as kids uh, hearing stories, right? Sitting on a grandparent or a parent's lap and being told these magical, mystical stories about the world. And the, the best kept secret is that people still love stories as adults. They help us understand our world. They help us relate to each other and to the things that we buy, consume, the product services in our life, and also the organizations, the nonprofits uh, that lift up our communities. So these stories are, are really the kind of the backbone of a great organization. And you'll know a great organization when you hear its story. So, you know, a CEO or a founder will often open up a conversation at a convention or at an event by just telling kind of the founding story of, of why this organization does what it does. We like to do that in the form of videos because videos can be accessed anywhere. Uh, so when you come to the website of an organization or you see it on YouTube or you watch it on TV or wherever you might encounter an organization or a brand, uh, that video in a short you know, couple minutes or even less tells that story so that the viewer suddenly has that light bulb moment and says, oh, this is what you're all about. This is what you do. This is why you exist. And that's that's a powerful thing to be able to do to tell those stories. It's what we love to do. I, I'm just sitting here in awe going, oh my God, that's just incredible. Well, it's funny too, because you, you bring up a good point. You started it off saying when you're sitting on your grandfather's lap and he's telling you those stories. I think a lot of us have experienced those as we grow up. But what's funny is you remember it. Mm -hmm. You remember those stories. So the power of storytelling is so important. From, from a content perspective, how do you help organize the content to tell the story? Yeah. The short answer is a lot of stuff ends up on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we will spend hours, days, weeks filming, documenting our clients and, and their work. And then we'll produce a piece that's maybe a minute, 90 <laughs> seconds long. 
And it's actually uh, in some ways more difficult, more challenging to create a shorter video because there's so much that you have to let go of. But to find that essence to kind of distill, it's almost like, you know, like distilling a, a liquor or something, yeah. right? Like I've seen whiskey being made. It's kind of like that distilling the essence of everything that's there, everything that we do. Each of our days is so filled with action, activity, right? How do you distill out of all of that noise the essence of what's happening in an organization, in a company? That's what we do. That's what we love to do. We sit and we solve that story. We figure out where is where is the essence in what's happening in front of us. I love it. Well, speaking of essence in video, I think it's a great time to take a little break and hear a word from our presenting sponsor, Tryon Solutions. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Does your company use a national payroll service that doesn't know or care much about your business? Well, there's a better payroll solution that can also help you more efficiently manage HR services, benefits administration, workers' compensation, and regulatory compliance. Companies of all sizes turn to Tryon Solutions to process their payrolls and reduce the stress and burden of HR administration. Get the personal touch from one of the top professional employer organizations in the country. Tryon Solutions at Rely on Tryon. Welcome back to Members on the Mic with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. We're here with Justin with Flow Video. Justin, we learned a little bit on a brand story and the importance of video content, but can you talk me through the process on Flow helps to tell the story and work with these companies and nonprofit organizations? What's step one to step six? Absolutely. And I'm going to share this as if anybody were doing it, right? Mm -hmm. Like we would love for people to tell their own stories. If we're the one to work with you, great. But if not, I think everybody has a story to tell and, and it's best to let it out, share it with the world. <laughs> so for us, the first thing is just getting to know, discovering, we call it the discovery process with our clients, literally sitting down, talking about what do you do? What, who are you? What's, why do you do what you do? What motivates the you? The essence, like you yeah, said. Okay. exactly. <laughs> um, you know, people will talk for hours. They'll talk your head off about why they do what they do. People really feel a passion for the things that they love to do and they want to tell everybody about it. So we sit and we discover what is the, what are the motivators? What are the, uh, what's the impetus? What's the passion behind why these people get up and do incredible game changing things? I mean, we've worked with people across the spectrum of, of industries and, uh, on the nonprofit side, educational from K-12 to higher education, um, social community organizations, religious organizations. Us. Yeah, <laughs> the Troy Chamber. We've worked with you and, and spotlit, you know, all of your amazing, uh, you know, members. So, you know, there's always a story there. You just have to kind of dig a little to find it. And you have to get people to open up mm -hmm. and to be a little bit vulnerable. So I, I, I say this uh, with pride that I've, I've made a lot of people cry on camera. <laughs> um, <laughs> I feel good about it because it's, it's a great thing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's when people start to really get into that vulnerable open space of really being able to say things that even they surprise themselves in saying that they didn't realize that they could, they could enunciate. They'll often end up opening up and, and even crying because it's, it's so powerful. The things that people, um, you know, can kind of let out when they, when they become open. Well, and you're working, I, obviously if people are working with producers or companies like yourself, you're evoking a passion. You're, yeah. you're trying to display that message visually and have the content to go along with it. But like you said, I think it takes a true professional to help break those walls and get that story to come out. Yeah, we like to think that we that's where we add our value. It's not just in the, the all the equipment and the lighting yeah. and the audio and the gear and the technical side. It's really in the ability to to get somebody to really open up with their story and then to be able to connect the dots between mm -hmm. all of these different stakeholders if we're working, let's say, for example, with a, a nonprofit organization, um, say that fights hunger or that works on, on poverty or homelessness, we're interviewing people all across the organization, staff, leadership, other stakeholders. So people who've benefited from the services of this organization. And these are people that, you know, on a given day, they wouldn't normally even necessarily talk to each other. Mm -hmm. And they would definitely not all be speaking to these same issues right into these same points so we're able to kind of bring together all of these varied perspectives and to develop a, a through line a narrative to what what is this organization doing not from some talking points yeah. or some you know pr not you the know, bullet sheet. points right it's the, exactly it's the passion this is real talk this is real people 
saying, this is what my life is like. This is what's happening in my world. And this is how this brand or this organization plays into my daily life. I and mean, that's powerful when you, when you hear the impact that some of our clients have had on people. Yeah. Well, and being able to showcase it again, we, we all struggle. And you, you bring up a good point on the fact that more isn't always more. It's, and also less isn't more. It's finding that balance. Mm-hmm. How, do you, how do you help decipher finding the balance of what's going to be appeasing to the audience of getting your, the, these missions and these messages out? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, a, it's always a little bit of a, of a jigsaw puzzle. Yeah. There's never uh, a single answer to what is the right length for your video. I mean, there are feature length films, 90 minutes long or two hours or three hours when long. When did that happen? <laughs> right. So, so you don't, you don't know until you get into the story, but when you start to hear and talk to people, you realize, okay, there's a, a narrative arc here. We talk mm-hmm. a lot about the arc of a story, just like any great heroic story, or you think of a great movie from your childhood, they follow a kind of similar narrative arc and that arc, which sort of takes you through a challenge and to a resolution. That's the same kind of narrative arc that we're developing with our stories. Uh, where brands are able to basically tell us about a challenge that they've confronted or a, a pain point that they've discovered in their customers or in their volunteers or in their uh, stakeholders or people that they've served. There's always some challenge that people have confronted and they've overcome or that they're overcoming currently, that they're challenging and working through in a kind of documentary way. We are documenting what's happening uh, in real life that's messy, yeah. right? And tricky and complicated and, and the, the feelings are raw and the emotions that run high. But there is, is, there's, there's a, a beautiful uh, story behind that. And that's what we're aiming to, to capture with our cameras and with our microphones and our lighting. And, but most of all, like with our conversations, with our, our interviews. Yeah. Actually, just I have a quick question on that. Um, have you seen changes over the last couple of years or what you saw prior to someone's story to now? And you mean in terms of the effect of recent events? or uh, what do you all mean? Re- There's been a few, <laughs> but yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the world is, is a chaotic place right yeah. now. Uh, and we've seen it affect our, you know, our work in a lot of ways. I mean, just the ways that we capture, we've had to get creative about how we capture stories, right? In order to just, you know, make sure that people are feeling safe and especially in the pandemic, right? So yeah. we've we've shipped out, you know, uh, camera gear to people's porches and they'll pick it up and we'll get on Zoom and show them how to set it up in their own wow. houses. And so we've, you know, we've been able to kind of get into places that in quarantine were, were relatively inaccessible. But in general, I think with technology evolving so quickly around how video is captured and edited and presented and distributed, we are evolving with that. We're in some ways a tech company in the sense that we are constantly innovating and evolving. We've gotten into virtual spaces and conducting interviews virtually. And now I think you're seeing, I mean, all around the world, the ways that technology are making it easier for people to share their story and making it almost instantaneous that people are able to communicate what's happening in their lives. And people halfway around the world are finding meaning, they're finding motivation in the stories of people that they would never run into on the street. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that leads to a perfect transition <laughs> to my favorite segment of our podcast, Did You Know? Let me guess, Sheila, does, is today's Did You Know something around video? Oh, there's a good possibility. <laughs> but I don't know if you all know that we have a Troy Chamber YouTube channel that you can view from anywhere in the world. Um, it has great video content, including our Inside Corporate Troy series, which is actually produced by Flow Video. All of our podcasts and even some of our past conferences and our recent and last year's awards banquet. So be sure to subscri- subscribe to our Troy Chamber YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks, Sheila. It's good stuff. That's it's really good, good stuff. stuff. <laughs> and that's good to know. And it's good for you to know, too. And again, we're excited because obviously there's a lot of flow video content. So I think it's great for people to go to our YouTube page and even check out some of the great work you've done because... We've used you and we think you guys have been great. And it yes. really Aww, does tell you. the right story. So it, guys, take a look and tune in. It's really good stuff. Um, but a few weeks ago, we actually had a person on our podcast and he was talking about the importance of company culture. So I know your team. I have worked with your team. Mm-hmm. And one thing that I think stands out to me is Oddly, your team seems to be always full of joy. They seem to be happy. They're engaged. They love what they do. And 
while people think that might be a normal thing, it's really not. We don't get to see that level of joy all the time. Um, so it's always wonderful to work with you. But why do you think having joy in the workplace and how did you even get employees to be a part of this? Like, how did you bring joy into your workplace and why is it important for people to pay attention to? Yeah, well, even before the pandemic, you know, having fun was a core value. The grilled Joy cheese, the grilled value. cheese yeah. thing. We'll talk. So yeah, and that <laughs> was when we were that yeah, the, right grilled cheese Wednesdays. Right, we'll yeah. talk about that. <laughs> uh, but even before the pandemic, when we were all working in the same space every day, you know, we wanted to have fun. Even more so now that we've gone primarily remote, right? Yeah. So we we do have a an office space but it's on an as needed basis. So I tell people come in when you, when you want to come in, come in when you need to come in, uh, but work wherever you want to work because I want you to be able to be creative. Right. Mm -hmm. And if that means locking yourself in your basement for three days to knock out that video edit, do it, you know, don't let me get in your way. <laughs> so, you know, embracing the fact that what we do each day has to have some fun to it or else what, you know, what's the point? I mean, there's people, want to have joy in their lives. And yeah. why should you have to kind of, you know, turn off the joy spigot from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m.? I'm a firm believer that, especially in this, co you know, post-COVID world of uh, work-life balance being all over the place and, mm -hmm. you know, work and life happening in the same place often, you know, we have to find ways to inject joy and fun and laughter and lightheartedness into our work. And we're lucky to be able to, I say this all the time, I, we're so lucky to be able to just get paid to create great videos. Yeah. I mean, our clients, I think they see it too in, in the quality and in the, uh, not just of the final product, but in the quality of the experience of working with us. They see that we're having a good time. We like what we're doing. We're just kind of all in amazement that we get to do this every day, that this is just like what we are able to do and to make a living doing it. It's just, a, it's a beautiful thing. And I think that that joy kind of pervades our company, not, not, not every day and every moment, right? There's, <laughs> You're not walking around like work. this the yeah. whole time. So yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's work, right? There's work. So it's work. But I really emphasize to people that if you're not having fun, take a breath, take a step back and, and ask, what is keeping me from having a good time? Right. I think everybody can do this yeah. in whatever line of work you're in, right? Work can be really strenuous and stressful and difficult and challenging. But if you just take a moment to say, what is it that's keeping me from having a little bit of fun at work? And are there things that I can do or that the people around me, my colleagues or my supervisor or whomever can do to help make work a little bit more enjoyable for me? It doesn't have to be, like I said, fun in every moment. But if, if you're not having fun, there's probably something that you're not doing right or that people around you are not doing right in supporting you to have a little bit of joy in, in your work life. And you might have to find it yourself. You might have to bring it yourself to work. But I really try hard to make sure that everybody on my team is supported in, in bringing joy to them and making the work more palatable, more enjoyable, and, and also just fun. Like the, the client work that we take on is oftentimes very fun. <laughs> well, and I think it shows because yeah. as you see the quality of product come out, obviously you're even setting the people who you're interviewing or filming at ease yeah. It's because of that feeling that you and your team are providing to give that environment. I'm glad you've you've enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I feel an obligation if we're creating content that people are putting their eyeballs on, that we're not wasting their eyeball time and that we're giving them something that makes them happier. I and like all eyeball time. <laughs> We well, want our viewers to feel smart. We want them to feel happy. We want them to feel joy. So before we go, I know Sheila has a question as well, but what if you're a company and you think you're boring and you don't have a story to tell. Like there's a lot, like people are like, oh, well, banking's not exciting. Everything I think oh. has a story. Well, no, but it's, it's, I always hear bankers saying, oh, you know, it's banking. And I'm like, no, there's so much more to it. Or it's, hey, I work in custodial. It's not that exciting. You always hear it's not that exciting. How do you work with some of these clients who don't believe they have a story or it's not exciting enough to share? How do you, how do you help them get there? I think if, if you think that what you do or what your company does is boring, you might just be a little short-sighted, right? Yeah. Like you might not be giving yourself enough credit. So we worked with a bank, a regional bank here that said, you know what, we, our day-to-day -day work might be kind of boring in some ways, right? But the impact that the work that we're doing is having on, say, the folks that we are able to finance, their small business operations, their startups, 
let's go and document that. Let's document the small business owner who gets a loan and then is able with that loan as well as our consulting and support to be able to build out an amazing franchise or an amazing small business. Let's document that so that we can lift the spirits of our team and say, you're not pushing these papers for nothing. There is, there is impact in the world that's produced by what you're doing, even if you don't see it on a day-to-day -day basis. So I think that's true of any organization or any company, no matter what your purpose, mission, you know, bottom line, whatever it is, what you're doing impacts others in the world. And if you're able to document that through video and, and, you know, broadcast that right back to your own people and lift up their spirits. If nobody else watches these videos, then your own employees, right. And they feel motivated and, and this is a pat on their back and validation for what they're doing. I think that's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And, and I want to reiterate, I think banks are interesting. So I just want to <laughs> say that out loud. <laughs> but honestly, I, I, I think that's a wonderful thing because we all have a story to share. And I think it's super important that we showcase mm -hmm. everybody's each and individual unique qualities and what they do to contribute to the world, to the business world, to society. And I agree with you. Everyone plays a part and the impact is still maybe not felt visually like everyone gets to see it every day. But it is important. So I appreciate yeah. you sharing that. That's just how we flow. Yeah. Oh, what? <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> well, I want you to know you brought joy to us because we're going to be talking about grilled cheese Wednesdays when we mm. get back to the office. Looks like we have a new initiative. <sighs> no. <laughs> we make a mean grilled cheese. I mean, maybe we just go there. You and should. do this. We'll visit on, on a, on, on a uh, grilled cheese Wednesday. That right. We'll do this as a field trip. Mm -hmm. Ooh, field trip. I, I like that. Nice. See, again, joy. <laughs> um, Justin, thank you for being here today. If you could impart one nugget before you leave for our members, what would that be? What could you tell them that they could walk away from this podcast? I mean, there was so much already, yeah. but one more thing they could walk away with to bring their business mm. more benefit. I would say to your viewers and listeners to take a moment to just look inward and think about your own story, right? And what connects you to the work that you do and what, what your passion is. I would say, think about that and think about as, think about it as if you were a child, right? Or if you were explaining it to a child, right? Like what, what is, what motivates you? What drives you to do what you do? There is value in that. There's beauty in, in your own story and to be, able to share that story, to be able to, even if it's not on camera, right, but just to be able to share with the people around you at work or, uh, you know, at home, just how, how some people might say blessed, that's a religious term maybe, but just how lucky we all are to be able to do the work that we do each day to get up and to be able to have an impact on the people around us. I think that's special whether or not you record it. I like to record it. I like to get people on camera talking about it. But just reminding yourself that, you know, you are a unique human being that's doing beautiful things in the world, whether or not you feel validated and rewarded for it each day, it's happening, you're impacting people, and you're making the world a little bit brighter. So just, you know, pat yourself on the back a little bit for that. I know. I just want to be done at this point. Like, I'm so happy. I feel so much better. <laughs> well, we're grateful to you and the Troy Chamber and, and all that you've done, you know, to help us to be able to tell these stories, to give us a platform to be able to, to, to share the stories of your members. So well, thank you for letting us do that. It's easy to do when we get to work with great members like you. So we're very appreciative. And you know what, Justin, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah. Obviously the insight you have in with Flow Video, we're so grateful to have you. And guys, that's a wrap for this members on the mic by the, with the Troy Chamber of Commerce. Um, I just wanted to thank you all for joining us. For more information on joining the chamber, go to troychamber.com. Thanks and have a great rest of your day. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye-bye.